The tenants of this apartment complex showed us the damage firsthand tonight. This family is dealing with water soaked carpets, among other things. They've reached out to their management company and they say they've almost had no response. Um, as you can see, the floor is soaked. Um, we shop back three to four times a day. It's a new reality for this family living at the Beachstone Complex in Portsmouth. Their ceiling is falling apart and water is seeping in. You step on it and the water is constantly coming up and it's spread pretty much throughout his room. The family has to sleep in their living room just to get away from it all. Uh, my son has to sleep on the floor. Um, I'll sleep on the couch. My husband, when he's home, will sleep in the recliner. Jennifer Young reported the problems on February 8th. She says the management company has done little to help. News 9 reached out and got no response. They showed up. They did a quick shop vacuum on the rug and said there's nothing more that they could do until spring. That's when she notified the city. And they have since brought in a structural engineer. They've got um, fixes going on or, uh, or remedies to that and that we're going to be working with them on a time frame for, for getting those fixes taken care of. David Allen, the deputy city manager, tells us it could take a while for things to get back to normal because ice dams are hindering their work. He says it's still safe enough to live there for now, but admits things will get much worse. This is what we've been dealing with for the last two weeks. This tenant has to keep the door to this room shut just to keep the smell of mildew out of the rest of her home. The ceiling's actually starting to come down, and you can see the brown spots in it, and it's splitting. The whole wall is splitting, and you can see the watermarks behind it. Both tenants we spoke to say they don't know how much longer they can live in these conditions. We feel that if they had acted on this when we first notified them, it would not have got to this extreme in any apartment in this place. But because they ignored it, swept it under the rug, now we're in this position. The Young family tells us because of all of this, they don't feel safe living in their home. They're actively looking for a new place to live. They say they're being forced to break their lease. Reporting in Portsmouth, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.